guys, I just wanted to give you a tour of the MVP Summit. I got my badge, so officially all checked in, and they're definitely feeding us, so that's an awesome thing. I just got out of the data platform, uh, uh, the keynote session, kind of the kickoff session. It was pretty cool. By the way, check this out. So this is what an MVP looks like. Does that look reversed on the camera? Uh, but yeah, so pretty soon the aisles are going to be filled with these awfully smart people. <laughs> Uh, majority of them are smarter than me, but that's great. It's, it's, you know, it's always good to be in a company where you can learn so much more from others. Uh, so yeah, we had an early start today. This kicked it off right at 8 a.m. I checked in and, uh, and I'm really excited about the sessions that are gonna come uh, after this because those are specifically about Power BI. So this one was kind of generic. You know, they talk about Azure a lot. <laughs> Certainly cloud is a big thing for Microsoft. And I love how it all kind of fits in. So yeah, this is just me kind of walking the aisles. And yeah, so of course, I was, here, I was here at Microsoft for six years. And you know what, Microsoft, I always say it was, is one of the best employers around here, for sure. Uh, so they, yeah, they treated me really nice. They treat their employees really good. And the same thing extends to Microsoft MVPs. I've, I've always felt uh, that there is a team to support me. Not to say that everything is perfect at Microsoft. Uh, every company has their issues to deal with. But overall, I'm just so happy to be part of this community. And this is kind of the hangout lounge uh, that we have over here. So all right, folks, I'll check in later. Cool. So we're in a bit of a break at our MVP Summit. And there, yeah, there's food back there. They're feeding us well. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like in some ways I haven't been valuing the MVP Summit as much as I should because I'm a local and I just hop out of my bed and head over here. But then I run into people who are from Finland, who are from Denmark, Germany, Australia, all of these distant places who have traveled here. And, and yeah, that, that really makes me feel like, wow, this is, uh, this is something, right? So I've been asking people, like, what is it, what do you get out of this? I've been asking that question to all of these people I meet from all different places. And inevitably, all the answers have been mostly around people. They, they come here for the people, they come here for the conversation, for the connections. And I've, I've, uh, the first time I heard the phrase, your net, you know, it's, I, I don't know why I have trouble saying it, but your net worth is equal to your net work. I love that phrase. And boy, if all of these smart people, if all of these MVPs across the world kind of agree with that, then it has to be true. So yeah, I mean, I'm trying to just network, connect with as many people as I can. And yeah, think about that in your own work life and how much time. I know it was one of those things where it was always hard to do. You're so busy in a job, but I think those connections maybe make you better at work. So yeah, think about what you're doing in your role for that. Follow on, my friends. So I'm heading home. Uh, this is not quite the end of day one, but for these events, uh, I feel like I have to pace myself. We still have two more days of content, so I'm skipping out a little bit early. I'm missing out on probably a really exciting talk on Power BI gateways, but yeah, it was a super exciting session. And of course, so for MVPs, Microsoft kind of rolls out the red carpet and that feels nice. We have access to the development team, but I think that's, that's not quite true. I think the Power BI team is so much more open to audience feedback from their ideas of Power BI site. And certainly the stuff that they share, shared with us today, yeah, I mean, they're really listening. So they're really listening to the feedback. So in a way, uh, not just the MVPs, but all the users have certainly created, crafted this product. So hey, uh, you guys should be a little proud of that as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it probably for me today. But tomorrow we got more exciting sessions on embedded developer topics, premium, uh, that's certainly going to be interesting. Office stars, all sorts of cool stuff coming up, and I'll uh, keep checking in with you guys. Power on, my friends. Hey guys, so I'm um, I'm back home, and even though I skipped the last session, and came home early, I feel pretty wiped out and exhausted, and it feels kind of lame to say that because there are folks here from all over the world, kind of fighting jet lag, <laughs> you know, to stay, uh, you know, stay uh, stay for these sessions. But uh, there's one thing which I kind of discovered was um, uh, the real meaning of introvert. So I felt, I felt like I was um, right, you know, not, kind of in the middle of introvert versus extrovert. That's what I used to think because I felt like I love going out and meeting people and I love that. And I love speaking on stage as well. I love that. So that can't be an introvert, right? I said I, I do like curling up to a book as well. 
But then my business coach really clarified it for me and he said that, Javi, that, that has nothing to do with what you're good at and what you enjoy doing. It's about where you get your energy from and that really clarified everything for me. So even though I love hanging out with people, I love meeting everybody that I met today, that was awesome, but I don't really draw my energy from that. I do, you know, so yeah, it, it kind of leaves me kind of depleted running on empty. Same thing when I would speak at a conference, I would love it. I love the experience being on stage, talking to people, but it would leave me pretty exhausted. In fact, I would be, you know, kind of pretty, pretty curled up, <laughs> almost in a fetal position after that. But uh, yeah, so I'm basing myself now that I know that, hey, that's how I operate. Uh, so yeah, I kind of took it easy, came, came home early for day one. Uh, we got full day two and three packed, and there's a bonus day on day four where uh, the Microsoft team is just going to have like this open open office hours. I'm looking forward to that. I definitely have some questions lined up to ask them, some coming from my students, some, uh, well, actually mostly coming from my students. So yeah, we'll uh, see you on day two.